deep. All the weather that could have bloomed over the prairie and ruined me. All the cars that could have sped by without hesitating and left me on the fog line, nameless forever. The trains that could have taken my legs. The hobos that could have pulled a switchblade and opened me like a flood enfolding the red North Dakota clay. Out of all the hazards we pass through in amazement, all the stories we tell of luck and good fortune and prayer and survival. It is always our own lungs that dry up and darken, our own miles that straighten, our own hunger that wanes. The Lord gives us mountains and we fail to mine out that grandness. The Lord gives us trains and we waste those distances transporting coal. Some say the world is broken. Some say the good Lord has forsaken our dreams. But I say it is our own throat that grows the cancer, our own asthma that blackens our breath to a wheeze. And the truth is, the mile-long train will always crawl past. The socket-fixed gaze of the owl's skull will always turn perfectly backwards. We will always be bodies among ghosts. And what is important to them is not how we ride on the westbound freighter, not how we shiver, not how we crawl crooked and thin and climb yet again into the trembling eye hole. It is not about suffering. It is not about fear. We must peer out from inside the owl's eye. Watch the coal dust cook in the wind eddies. Watch it linger. Watch it spiral thinly as it bruises the blue faded mind of the buffalo sky. We must be the pupil that swells in the coming darkness. The cargo worth carrying across the distances. Thank you. Yeah.